Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome back to art class. So, if we look out the windows, it's pretty easy to tell what season of the year it is, right? It's fall. It's getting colder, the days are getting shorter, it's rainy, it's kind of gloomy, but there's also some like positives to it, right? The leaves start changing color, and that is beautiful when it happens. It's one of my favorite times of year. So, our project today has to do with just that. We're going to draw some leaves. Now we're not just drawing leaves, we're drawing a whole picture, but the leaves are kind of an important thing. They're going to help us show perspective. Perspective has to do with how we see things in the real world. It's how if you're drawing something and you want it to look realistic, then you will think about some perspective ideas while you're making that drawing. Um, if you remember back beginning of, of the year, we made those landscapes and we talked about showing, showing depth. One of the ways that we showed depth was if something is far away from us, it's tiny, right? If something's close up next to us, it's big. Well, that's perspective. That's how you see things in the real world. If something is close to you, it's big. If it's far away from you, it's small. So these leaves that we use in this uh, drawing that we're going to do today, uh, that is about fall, um, the leaves are going to serve as kind of a tool to help really, really make that perspective idea show up, show up real well. Before we get started with the drawing, let's talk about leaves. A very exciting thing to talk about. <laughs> leaves. Um, there's all kinds of different leaves, right? Uh, I was I was looking it up. I didn't know this. I had to look it up. Kentucky has 120 different kinds of trees that are native to the state. And when we say that something is native to the state, that means it's from here. It is a tree that has only ever been uh, in Kentucky. That's wrong. It's probably been other places, but it's from here. It started, got its start. It grows here naturally. We don't have to like bring it in. Um, out of all those, there's there's many different kinds of trees, which of course have many different kinds of leaves. So today, when you are drawing your leaves, you can think about these examples we're getting ready to see. You can completely make up some leaf shapes in your head, or you can go outside for a minute. Take a look around, find some leaves. I guarantee there's some on the ground right now you could look at to get some ideas for shapes. So, leaves. There are simple shaped leaves, kind of like this one. There are more difficult, more challenging to draw shaped leaves like this one. And then there's a bunch of other leaves all in between. Some are easy, some are difficult, some are kind of half and half. Whatever leaf that you choose to draw is up to you. The thing is, since we're going to be showing just one tree, which will make more sense in a minute, it should probably be the same kind of leaf, because leaves don't, leaves, trees don't have more than one kind of leaf on them. So think about that. All right, my friends, let's start drawing some trees and some leaves and some fall stuff. Let's do it. All right, guys. So for our fall perspective leaf drawing, we are going to need some paper, a pencil, an eraser maybe, and some colors. Now, the colors are important today because that's what's going to help it look more like fall. So you want to try and make sure you've got some of the colors we think of when we think of fall which would be things like oranges and yellows and reds and, and browns. All right, so this is mostly gonna be a landscape, but it's not gonna be a very um, detailed, I guess I'll say, landscape, because there's only a couple of uh, uh, main things to focus on. So I'm gonna start with just drawing kind of a hilly environment. So I'll draw some bumps there. Now I'm going to draw a tree. Now when we looked at the video before the lesson, it was all about the horizon and how we see the horizon and why we see the horizon. So if I wanna show a horizon, 
I would maybe add like one more one more row of hills kind of smaller off in the background and then my sky would be up here my earth would be down there so the hills even though it wouldn't be like a straight line would be my horizon now I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna do that in in a minute because the horizon is all the way at the back and I want to draw some stuff in front of it first that way I won't have to to erase and things like that so these are, are my foreground, these are, are right up close next to me. So I'm gonna start with a tree, and this is gonna be just a really simple tree. I'm gonna draw my trunk. And then I'm gonna draw, I'm not gonna worry about drawing branches and stuff. This is gonna be, let's say maybe like at the beginning of fall, when there's still a lot of leaves on a tree. So I'm going to use shapes that are almost kind of like we would see if we were drawing like a cloud, right? Just some kind of bumpy, fluffy shapes. I might add a couple more in there for some details. All right, so in this world I'm creating, it's a windy day, and we are going to have the wind blowing from behind the tree coming at us. So the leaves that are coming off this tree will be getting bigger as they get towards us. So you can do this either way. You can either start with some small leaves blowing in your air by the tree, or you can start with some big ones up here. The important thing is that they will gradually get smaller the closer they get to the tree. So I'm gonna do just one of those kind of simple leaf shapes. I'm gonna do curve like that and curve like that and I'll add some more details to it when we're when we're finishing up now I don't want to draw these all the same the same direction because I want these leaves to be uh, blowing right and they don't blow straight it's not like the trees throwing them at us they're blowing so they're good there's gonna be some that are facing that way there are going to be some that are facing this way. Think of them kind of like blowing and tumbling and rolling through the air as they get closer to us. All right, so now I've got my leaves. When I'm, uh, when I'm tracing here in a second, I'm actually gonna add some kind of swirly lines kind of mixed in here to give it even more of that sort of uh, impression, that Im the, the illusion that the wind is, is blowing these things. All right, so now that I have my leaves, now I can add kind of that next layer of my background back there. So I'm gonna just do kind of a real easy bumpy line and if my line hits up against my leaves, I'll just stop and skip it so it looks like they are in front of that horizon, kind of like that. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and trace and I'll do that kind of quick so we can get back to it. Um, now would be the time to add some details like the lines going through our leaves, maybe some texture on the tree. Uh, and that's something I'm going to do while I trace, but you should probably go ahead and do it with the pencil. Um, I'll just be doing it when I trace to, to kind of make sure I don't take up a whole lot of your time. All right, here we go. All right, so now I am going to color. So like we said, when we color, especially our leaves and the leaves on our tree, we're gonna wanna use some fall colors. 
Now when I am doing that in the tree, I don't need to, I don't have to pick like just one color. I can show a bunch of those colors in the tree at the same time. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna kind of color with one first. Now I'm not really trying to make any kind of a shape with the way I color because if this was the world, it's not like half the tree is gonna change and then the other half is gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna add some random kind of organic shapes in there with one color and then move on to the next. And where my colors meet, where my colors come up next to each other, I'm gonna kind of color into. So this orangish red that I'm using, I'm gonna kind of color over on top of the yellow I started with just a little bit to kind of make that mix and blend. And that will give it kind of the illusion that they are a bunch of different leaves changing color kind of at the same time, but not 100% at the same time. All right, so you can see I did kind of the same trick on the leaf, except the leaf would be, maybe, would be mostly the same color. So I can color it in with one and then just go back kind of near the edge to add a little detail, a little shading with another color. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and color the rest of this and, and speed it up so don't waste your time. Um, I might add some of those fall colors back in here so it looks like there's more, more leaves changing way off in the distance. Um, but I'm not gonna worry about drawing any trees or anything uh, because that's really far away. So I wouldn't really be able to see like individual trees. All right, I'll go ahead and color it and then we'll talk about it once it's done. And then you can get all started making yours. All right, so there we go. There is my fall landscape. Uh, remember, the whole goal here was to use these leaves blowing in the wind to show that show that depth. Oh, I forgot one thing we said we were gonna do, right? So we were gonna make some kind of swirly lines in here to give us more of that illusion that our leaves are blowing and tumbling through the air. All right, so there's that. All right, my friends, uh, remember, pick one kind of leaf. It doesn't have to be the simple one. It can be the complicated one, but they should all kind of match. Uh, we want them bigger as they're getting closer to us. Uh, maybe you wanted your tree in a different place. Doesn't matter if you wanted it on this side or in the middle, as long as you've picked kind of a direction for those leaves to be blowing. All right. That's it. That's the plan. Can't wait to see yours. Hope everyone's doing well. See you later. Bye.